Hello everyone and welcome to today's discussion about the Schwab US Dividend ETF trading under the ticker symbol SEHD. So SEHD has been holding a significant appeal amongst retail investors due to its combination of high yield, very low volatilities and reasonable fees. It provides a very diversified dividend portfolio in a single investment, making it a very premium and preferred choice in the market, especially for retail traders. In recent years, the job market has become ever more uncertain and ramping inflation has been impacting the economies around the world that were previously deflationary. Amidst those uncertainties, it is very essential for us to secure a better financial future. And to achieve this, it's very important to identify the stable revenue streams that can distribute dividends and foreseeable and predictable income streams. For many investors, SEHD has been considered as one such opportunity. It goes beyond being just another dividend ETF, often regarded as a safe haven by both retail and institutional investors. Known for delivering stable and growing dividends, SEHD stands out as one of the largest and most diversified dividend ETFs in the market, maintaining its popularity over the not only the years at this point, but over its 15 years of existence. So in today's video, we will delve into a comprehensive analysis of SEHD to help you to determine whether it merits a place in your investment portfolio. Before the video continues, I just want to take a moment to thank you for coming to my channel and hope that you will enjoy your stay and to come back for more content. If you like what you see, please consider to like, subscribe, and to check out my channel for the other playlists that I cover. With that being said, I hope you're going to enjoy today's analysis and let's get started. Over the past few trading sessions, SCHD's price fluctuated within the range of around $80 reaching a high of $0.77 and, 72 cents and a low of $77.22. So it has seen some brief retracement from the $80 seeding when that one was tested. Over the past five days, SEHD seems to have resumed its continuation to the upward trend, with the prices decreasing by approximately 0.3%, and that includes the pullback. That has been mostly recovered. The ETF has then experienced some steady growth, especially after March the 27th. The increase has been relatively modest and slow compared to many other tech stocks. It signifies a positive momentum in the short run. The 30 days graph indicates the price has been taking a brief pullback after reaching an all time high of around $80.22. With that being said, the retracement has so far been bottomed out, and we have yet to see whether there will be any more sell-offs to lower the levels. Looking back over the past six months, SEHD has demonstrated that it can deliver a pretty consistent bullish trend, with prices increasing by around 14%. This sustained upward movement reflects the investor's confidence in the ETF's underlying assets and the investment strategy. A significant growth over the period highlights uh, SEHD's ability to deliver favorable returns to investors seeking exposure to dividend-paying stocks. So the recent trading volume data also provides further insight into SEHD's short-term price action. Within its recent volume of 3 million shares traded, which is slightly below the, like the usual average of 3.5 million shares, it suggests a relatively stable level of trading activity. The trading volume may fluctuate, but the consistency remains, indicating ongoing investors' interest in a dividend stock such as SEHD. Overall, recent price actions in SEHD has been bullish, characterized by slow and consistent growth. This upward momentum does suggest that the ETF may continue to climb in the short run, especially if the interest rates were to decrease and to remain at a moderate level. 
lower interest rates generally make like dividend paying stocks more attractive in the eyes of investors seeking income and yields, especially compared to the bonds and more guaranteed solutions. The short term price action of SCHD reflects its performance over the recent periods, indicating a trend of moderate and yet very consistent and I would say significant growth. With prices steadily increasing over the past 30 days and 6 months, SCHD has demonstrated its resilience and potential for delivering very favorable returns for those who want to put their money into this ETF. The recent trading volume has been stable, and the bullish price action does suggest that the SEHD may continue its upward trajectory in the short run, particularly in a lower than now interest rate environment, were that to happen. And to our knowledge, this will happen almost at a hundred percent of probability in like within the next twelve months. The SEHD Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is an exchange traded fund ETF that was launched in twenty I think twenty eleven, offering investors a good exposure to a very diversified portfolio of US based dividend paying stocks. Since its inception, SEHD has garnered a lot of attention from investors, including but especially the retail ones due to its attractive features and performance metrics. So, as of the latest data available, SEHD has a total asset around um, like $56 billion, indicating its lasting popularity amongst the investor community, seeking exposure to dividend-paying stocks within the U.S. equity market, the deepest capital pool in the world. The substantial AUM reflects the confidence that investors have placed in SDHD as a reliable investment option. One of the standout features of SCHD is its exceptionally low expense ratio, currently set at 0.06%. The low expense ratio is highly appealing to investors as it helps minimizing the drag on returns over time allowing people to retain a much larger portion of their investment gains. SEHD's portfolio includes holdings of 104 companies, providing investors with a very broad exposure to various sectors and industries within the U.S. equity market. This diversification helps spreading the risk across different companies and sectors, reducing the impact of any individual stock's performance on the overall portfolio. The yield offered by SEHD is another very attractive feature for income-oriented investors, currently standing at around 4% historically. This yield represents the annual income generated by the portfolio over the actual amount of money that you're getting back. In other words, the yield is is really like the ultimate metric that tells you how much you're getting for what you put in. The consistent income stream provided by SEHD's dividend payments may appeal to many investors seeking reliable sources of income. One noticeable aspect of SEHD's performance history is the price appreciation of the ETF itself since the inception. And on average, SEHD has experienced a yearly price increase of around 10% in addition to the dividend yield demonstrating its ability to deliver capital appreciation to investors over the long run. When considering both dividend yield and price appreciations, investors holding SCHD have historically enjoyed a total yield of around 15% per year. The attractive total yield underscores the potential for SCHD to generate favorable returns for investors seeking both income and capital growth. Regarding investment strategies, SEHD can be viewed essentially as an S&P 500 index fund with cash flows. The fund aims to replicate the performance of S of like S&P 500 index while also emphasizing dividend paying stocks. This approach provides investors with exposure to the broader US equity market 
while also targeting companies with a history of consistent dividend payouts. One characteristic of SEHD is its tendency to rise with the tide, meaning compared to many other stocks where, you know, sometimes it's the fundamentals or the sector-specific aspects, in the case of SEHD, it rises alongside with the amount of money that is in the financial systems. As interest rates rise or fall, the attractiveness of dividend payment stocks also tend to fluctuate relative to other investment vehicles, and that may potentially impact SEHD's own performance. So, the ETF offers investors a pretty compelling investment opportunity with its very low expense ratio, a very diversified portfolio, an attractive yield, and a pretty solid performance history over the 13 years of its existence. By providing exposure to U.S. dividend-paying stocks within the context of a broader equity market, the SEHD would appeal to investors seeking both income and capital appreciation. For a dividend ETF like SEHD, which bundles together a collection of companies known for their strong dividend-paying histories, um, individuals can basically acquire shares of hundreds of companies in one single go, providing a simplified approach to build a very diversified and solid investment and yield-oriented portfolio. So instead of looking yourself for hundreds of individual stocks, analyzing the financial reports and ratios of each and every one of them, SEHD will scan through the market for companies meeting specific criteria in terms of profitability, cash flow management, and pricing, offering investors a much easier solution to have a balanced portfolio. One of the main advantages of SEHD is in its ability to offer a good yield to investors. The fund's emphasis on companies with consistent and growing uh, like dividends contributes to a reliable income source for those seeking regular returns. Also, the ETF's broad exposure to various sectors ensures a well-diversified investment, reducing the risk associated with individual stocks. It's very healthy in the long run because Although we may have an idea of which sector is popular, we may especially have a very accurate moment, like a very accurate idea of what is popular at the moment only. In the long run, things tend to even out, and stocks that are manually bought would may like fall to the trap of us thinking that our assumptions of the re- of our, of the reality. It's truer than the reality itself. So by removing our subjective and short-term perceptions, the investments will have a much more smooth progression going forward. The safety in number approach is also another obvious advantage, including a substantial number of stocks. This diversity acts as a protective measure because it helps to mitigate the impact of poor performance of an, any one single company of any one single sector. Investors may benefit from the resilience provided by the basket of stocks across different industries, making SEHD a very attractive option for those prioritizing stability in their investments. Comparing SEHD to the S&P 500 is also a pretty interesting exercise. While both include many of the same companies, SEHD's focus on dividend-paying stocks makes it a relatively safer option. This emphasis on income generation provides a unique angle compared to the broader market, potentially appealing to investors seeking a balance between growth and stability. If we think about it, most of the companies included in the SEHD are large caps based in the US, mainly um, the ones that are based, that are like also listed on the S and P 500. To an extent, we can say that SEHD is a relatively safer and more traditional side of what S and P 500 really is, since some of the biggest companies in the world do not pay dividends. 
The price action of SEHD can be justified by considering the increased capital allocation to equities over more safer and stable vehicles over the past, you know, like 15 years or so compared to the, the last two years, for example. As more investors recognize the importance and relevance of dividend paying stocks in their portfolio, the demand for ETFs like SEHD will almost be poised to rise. The fund's performance is also influenced by individual success of each company within its portfolio, that's for sure. So the price increase of SEHD shows an overall decrease in capital yield over the past decade, mostly due to the quantitative easing that has been overseen by central banks around the world. Investors who are looking into SEHD may have different goals. Some prioritize a stable and increasing dividend yield, and SEHD does align well with their objectives. The emphasis on companies with strong cash flows and consistent dividend payments have always been catered to the needs of some income-focused investors. And for others, SEHD may serve as a stabilizing force in a like investment portfolio that's more risk-seeking. It's the its diversified nature, coupled with the safety in numbers approach, helps smoothing out the volatilities. And for investors looking to balance risk and returns, SEHD offers a pretty compelling solution. So it definitely stands out as an as like a div, as a dividend ETF that brings simplicity and diversification to investors, with its focus on companies with good cash flows and a history of reliable dividends, SEHD offers a compelling option to those seeking stability and income in their investment portfolios. The fund's performance over the past 15 years and coupled with its advantages compared to the S&P 500, positions SEHD as a valuable tool for investors with specific financial objectives. Now, at the end of the day, everything boils down to the numbers and in this case everything boils down to like um yields really we should point out that over the course of the past decade it has increased by around 115 percent in terms of price actions alone so this is more than 10 percent every year for the capital gain alone in other words it's likely one of the best dividend ETFs. So right now, the global markets are facing a complex interplay of factors that have the potential to significantly influence the equities worldwide. In this speculative analysis, I believe that the consequences of the global inflation, surging commodity prices, and decline quantitative easing, as well as the rise of inflation rates or interest rates, plus the geopolitical instabilities, are going to play a significant part. The increasing inflation rate has been putting pressures across the globe, threatening the purchasing power, raising the input costs, and impacting corporate profitability. Companies operating internationally may face challenges in managing rising production costs, and also to sustain profit margins. Those dynamics could trigger market volatility, as investors adjust their risk return expectations. The upward trajectory of commodity prices, including energy, metals, agricultural products, have been having far reaching implications for various sectors of the global equities market. The companies heavily dependent on these commodities may experience squeezed profit margins, potentially affecting stock valuations and investor sentiment. The reduction or the end of QE's quantitative easing measures by the central banks worldwide may have resulted in reduced market liquidity. So this in turn could lead to higher borrowing costs for companies seeking capital, which may also discourage investment activities or will. The elevated market volatility plus the reduced investors' appetite may also continue to occur. Now, the central banks around the world are tackling this delicate situation 
of balancing the inflation rates with the economic stability and, if possible, growth. Central banks opted for aggressive interest rate hikes to combat inflation. Borrowing costs for companies have been rising, which has also slowed down business activities and also fueling the market's volatility in terms of the equity prices. Now, ongoing geopolitical tensions, including trade disputes, political uncertainties, and social unrest, will inject an additional element of volatility into the global markets. Investors may adopt a cautious approach, shifting towards safer assets, impacting the equities. Additionally, the escalating conflicts may disrupt supply chains, negatively impacting the performance of international companies. Given the interconnectedness of global markets, the aforementioned factors have reverberating effects on the U.S. equities market. Companies with significant exposure to international market may face a lot of headwinds resulting from the economic slowdowns, disrupting the supply chains and the currency fluctuations. But nevertheless, the U.S. market is known for its resilience and the diverse sectors may attract investors seeking safe havens. So really, the current landscape is characterized by global inflation Surging commodity prices, surging commodity prices, reduced quantitative easing, rising central bank inflation rates, geopolitical instabilities, and also ongoing lack of certainty regarding growth. While the U.S. market may exhibit relative strength due to the safe haven status, it's going to remain interconnected with the global economic landscape. For long-term investors, these conditions may offer opportunities to identify undervalued companies with strong fundamentals and international diversification. That being said, short-term trades should be approached with caution because of the increased volatility and uncertainty. And also, we should be careful when assessing individual companies, sectors, or regions. So, overall... SEHD has been proving to be a pretty promising investment option for those seeking stable returns and reliable income streams. With a focus on dividend yield, it offers investors the exposure into a diversified portfolio of high-quality U.S.-based, like dividend-paying, uh, well-established companies. One of the standout features is its reputation and the low fees. The fact that the fees are very low is very appealing for those who worry that two-thirds, up to two-thirds of your funds, like returns by the time you retire, um, may be taken by the middleman. So there are also potentials to see further price appreciation driven by solid fundamentals and cash flow. Just be careful. There's no guarantee of this last part. Of course, things have been looking good over the past 13 years, but these 13 years also corresponded to a to an era when money was become more cheaper and widely available for the capital market in general. Is that going to continue? It's not guaranteed, but then again, maybe the demand alone for US-based equities may increase. So that is the that is the assumption that many of us do have. Because of this, I would say that it's a healthy approach to start buying SEHD and keep buying SEHD and maybe other alternative dividend ETFs over the course of many years, possibly. An allocation of around 10 to 15% can be deemed like reasonable for such a such an ETF.